All right, so my flight just landed in Chicago and I'm a little bit tired. There's a bit of turbulence. It wasn't the easiest flight in the world, but it's done. And I'm in the States now. And now we're going to catch a train into the city. So now I'm just heading to catch a train on the blue line. It's so nice to be able to walk after sitting for four hours. It took forever to get this card because it's very confusing here at least to someone from Vancouver. I think our SkyTrain system or transit system is a lot easier to navigate. Which makes sense because it's a lot smaller. Anyways. So it took about an hour for us to get to our hotel from Chicago O'Hare Airport. And it was very easy to navigate the transit system once we actually took a look at the map. Uh, we just kind of had to get on the train and just sit for about an hour. And I think we transferred once, but it was very straightforward. Finally making it out of the train station. So now we're gonna go to the street. We picked a hotel that's located in Chicago's premier commercial district and this area is called the Magnificent Mile and it had a lot of nice shops and a lot of beautiful architecture so I was very happy with the location that we chose. This is my first time in Chicago and it's true to its name, the Windy City. It's kind of chilly. This is really cool. I don't know what these buildings are but I've never seen something like this so After we checked into our hotel, we decided that we wanted to explore a bit and then go out for dinner. So I ordered this and it's time for dinner. For those of you who are curious, technically right now I'm a flexitarian, which means I eat meat occasionally. So right now I'm at Chicago's River Walk and it's so beautiful. In Vancouver, we don't really have a skyline like this. It's so chill, such a nice evening, no rain, so happy to be here. so I'm going to go for a bike ride this morning and I think we're going to walk there so it's about a 20 minute walk and then we're going to rent bikes and then we get to go bike along the shoreline which is going to be beautiful so I'm excited for that. Canada cost me five and a half dollars in the States and I'm kind of confused by that because 
Starbucks is an American company, so I thought it would be cheaper here, but it's not. It still tastes good though. Now I'm going to rent a bike from this place and bike along the water. All right, so now it's time to go tandem biking. So this is the lakefront bike trail and it's a 20 mile bike path that was absolutely beautiful uh, and for someone who doesn't like crowds it was the perfect getaway to just have a lot of space and to be able to see the water along the water in Chicago. I highly recommend you do it, uh, but one thing you should probably note is that we did travel in November, so I'm sure the bike path gets a lot busier in the spring and the summer, um, but nonetheless, it's totally worth checking out, and it's a great way to explore the city and be active at the same time. We've been biking for about three hours now and I cannot feel my toes. I can't feel my toes. I can hardly talk to someone. That's really beautiful here. Hey guys, so check out this super American sign. I guess it has to do with gun ownership, which is very American. This is the area of Chicago called the Magnificent Mile. And um, as I said earlier, this is the shopping area. This is uh, a place that has a lot of great architecture. So we really just enjoyed walking around and getting a coffee and enjoying the sun, exploring a new city. Thank you. 
now at this restaurant that's 100% plant-based. And it's all plant based, even though that looks like meat, it's not. One of the highlights of my Chicago trip was visiting the Starbucks Reserve Roastery. Uh, it was like one of the coolest buildings I've been inside in a long time. There were I think about five levels and it was just very exciting and very lively. So many people just coming to um, shop and drink coffee and there were areas for people to um, enjoy like an alcoholic beverage. So here you see the level that had like the bar on it um, and people could order coffee themed drinks. And then if you went uh, on the upper or lower levels, you could enjoy coffee and enjoy baked goods. And it was just a really cool vibe, very cozy. So I just bought this coffee at the Starbucks Reserve Roastery in Chicago and I did the calculations and it costs $9 Canadian for this grande coffee. So yeah, it's a little expensive but tastes good. Yeah, so it turns out I really love coffee. So we ended up going to the Starbucks Reserve Roastery twice during our trip. And it was so nice to sit by the fire and really just relax. I did a little bit of clothing shopping and then we went to this really cute store just by chance that had a lot of really, really cool Christmas stuff. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge fan of Christmas. I love all the warm feelings it gives me. So I had a lot of fun picking out ornaments and um, deciding what I wanted to buy for my friends and family.
enjoyed watching my trip to Chicago. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time.